Sunday Night Fan TV. Uh, a 2-2 two -two draw, in my eyes, is pretty fair. What did you guys think? Well, I didn't see that uh, goal that got called back when Nagby scored, but from what I saw, like we were every both teams were playing pretty well on both sides of the ball. It's I just sometimes they couldn't finish, and sometimes like I think it was kind of on the ref too. But all in all, I can't really argue with the result. I'm glad we got a draw. I mean, it's better than a loss. So yeah, I'm, I'm very much in agreement. Uh, but at times it was a, there were chances where it was a winnable. But this game was winnable. Um, uh, but I have to attribute that to Joseph Martinez being constantly on side the majority of the game and that one instance where that play got called back via VAR is a is a good case <laughs> for Joseph to please stay on sides. <laughs> but I mean, do we feel like uh, people are being a little harsh on Joseph for, you know, I mean, it's a it's a call that, just, you know, VAR has been mostly our friend. And then, you know, the moment it is not on our side, uh, people just are up in arms. Yeah, well, most of the times when I'm seeing Joseph, and he, he's making a run on goal, and he gets there, and it gets blocked or whatever. Yeah. He's slow to get back on side. But, like, a lot of the times he is offside. But this one time, like, this game, he was on side most of the time. So, just the one time he was off, I was like, ah, see. I thought from where we were sitting, it was kind of questionable because I thought he was on side when he made that run. But... I guess, I mean, the line judge just have a better view, but I, honestly, I don't think it was offside by much, by maybe a hair or so. Uh, to piggyback on that, uh, and actually I was reading on, on the Twitter feed uh, an interesting statistic that, to New York City's credit, they have really studied our crossing game, and they limit us to three out of 28 crosses. Yeah. And they shut us down good. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Um, now... Uh, the, uh, the other big stories from today, I mean, definitely is an Ezekiel Barco debut, our uh, record transfer fee. Uh, you know, how did you guys think he did? I think for the time that he was on, he, he was pretty amazing. Like, I mean, just, just shifting on the ball and making good runs on and off the ball. So uh, for him to do what he did and the amount of time that he had, just wait until he gets a full 90s. They're not going to be ready. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think he, he did well. Um, he, he still needs some more. He needs to play some more minutes to get comfortable uh, playing on turf, uh, and just to you know flex them. Finally, flex the muscles. <laughs> uh, now uh, we play LA Galaxy next week. Um, you know, how do you prognosticate that's going to happen? Uh, and especially against you know Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The man is a legend in his own right. He's in a league of his own. Um, they've been playing pretty well since he's been there. Uh, I think we're going to do pretty well. Honestly, I was talking about it earlier today with some of my friends, and I was thinking, you know, if not Parky, LGP is going to, you know, put him in place a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's a lot of time, so yeah. can't count the man out. I mean, every time he's come on for LA Galaxy, he scored or had something to do with them scoring. So it's going to be a tough match, just like it was today. I just hope we can hold out. I mean, it's, it's a lot of time, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, but also um, – this would be a great opportunity to to play kids like to have Miles Robinson play in place of Lorenowitz or Parkey. Um, just yes, uh, speed, speed beats speed. Well, the thing is, like Zlatan, I mean, he doesn't have his speed as much anymore. But he, what he does have is his wiliness, and you know, I think we're gonna need those veterans to be able to cope with uh, the runs he's gonna make, uh, the movement that he's gonna gonna make. Um, Miles Robinson might have been uh, more better suited for this game, maybe. But what do you think? I mean, my, still Miles my, Robinson. Yes, Miles Robinson. <laughs> even though, even though at, there's no doubt in my mind, we're gonna get Zlatan either on a tie or they score back or they or they take back um, what was it or they erase a uh, a clean sheet from us a two one. Um, yeah. Final thoughts on this game, guys. Um, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it to get a better uh, feel for it. But all in all, I mean, I wish we could have won. But like I said, a draw is better than a loss. I'll take it. We're still in second. Yeah. Um, my final thoughts is uh, actually on the note of the officiating. And there are several moments where the poor, poor officiating is in the first and second halves where it, as we said, it, it's been our friend. But this particular referee wasn't too nice to us, to say the least where 
was it where there was, an, there was a handball that wasn't called in the first half? Clear as day. Clear as day. No. Ray Charles could have seen that. <laughs> um, you know, so, yeah, definitely. Uh, but, you know, the refs aren't always going to be our friends every single time. I mean, not that they are even allowed to do that. Right? So. <laughs>